Right now, we are in the prime of the fall color season here in Michigan, but in a very short time, most of these leaves are gonna fall to the ground, which means lots of leaf cleanup. So today I have a tool I'm gonna to show you and review, and it's gonna help you with your leaf cleanup, so let's get started. Here we go. Today's tour review for fall leaf cleanup is the Works Trivac. This is the WG512. So there's a few different versions of this. This one is a corded unit. So the reason I went with corded is a couple different reasons. First of all, I think if I were to buy this in a gas unit, I probably would only use it a few times of the year. So then I have to worry about storing the fuel in it. But this right here, you don't have to worry about that. You just plug it in and you're up and running. And another reason that I chose this over battery powered is I think in the fall season like this, you're gonna have a lot of big piles of leaves up near your house. So it's gonna be convenient to get a cord to it. And I think the batteries may not be able to hold up depending on how bad your leaf situation is. But when you have constant power like this, then you're not gonna have to worry about it. And one other reason, if you buy this and you wanna just hit the ground running right away, you can literally have this thing out of the box, plugged in, and within five minutes, you're vacuuming up leaves. Where if you had a battery one, then you know you have to wait for it to charge. Normally I'm all about battery power, but I think that this is gonna be one of those exceptions where you may wanna consider going with a corded unit. So the reason this is called the Trivac, it has three functions. So it's a blower, it's a mulcher, and it's a vacuum. There's three. And one of the things I like about this, it's very easy to go from one thing to the other. So right here, it's set up for vacuuming. And this comes with a bag that clips onto here with a shoulder strap. I'll show you how that works in a minute. But then if you want to switch it to a blower, you just twist that, it locks in place, and right there, you have a blower. So if you look right here, it's on off. There's speed one, and there's speed two. So if you're just trying to get the leaves up close in a pile, but you don't want to huge gust of wind blowing, then you go with one. But for the most part, when you're vacuuming or doing like a large leaf cleanup, you're gonna have it on two. So I've already done some work with the works. This is the bag right here, and it's pretty much full of all the leaves that I've cleaned up so far. So what I like about this, it has a really quick detachable clip to the bag. So if I lock that into the vacuum position, I just take this right here, this little spring clip right there you push that right in like that and that's it if you want to take it off you just push it like that very simple and then it has an adjustable shoulder strap and it puts all the weight of the bag because it could get pretty heavy and then it allows for one-handed easy use all right so how about i stop talking and we put this thing to the test So if you want to empty this, it's very simple. This stuff would work really great for a composting pile because it's all chipped up and you wouldn't have to put whole leaves on there. So you just open that up. I have a lot of pine needles and leaves. And also I think there's probably some small twigs in there. It even picked up somebody's cracker sandwich plastic. So this is going in the trash. All right, so I'm sure you want to hear all this sound. So let's get this thing going, and then at the end of the video, I'll go through some of the specs. So I took all those leaves, filled this up completely right to the top, and now I'm gonna pour it out right here. All right, now what I'm gonna do is pick this up and then just see, instead of this being completely full, I think it's 1 16th is the ratio that it'll chop it down to. So I'm hoping to see it pretty low to the bottom. So it's awesome if you're trying to pick up some leaves or you're helping somebody else out getting the leaves and you're trying to transport it, this will be a good way to shrink it down to 1 16th the size.
Okay, so now we'll do the big reveal just to see how much one entire bag of leaves right here, what it chops down to. You can see what it looks like finally ground up. Right there, I don't know if you can see that with the light. Let me grab a better light. There, that's the entire bag of leaves. That's what it shreds it down to. And it took, I don't know, like a minute maybe. Not bad. Here's a project in front of my house. I'm trimming the bushes with the Echo Gas Hedge Trimmer. Just doing a light trimming. You can just see all the leaves that are coming off in one pass. Now I'm using the Works Tri-Vac to go through and vacuum up a lot of those leaves that lay on top or fall in between. Here's an area where I feel the Works Tri-Vac really shines. It's doing curb cleanup, taking out the pine needles and leaves. It will not take a pine cone out, just so you know. You have to do that by hand. Also on ground cover, it removes the dead leaves from there pretty well and even on a stone rock bed taking the leaves out. I also like it for cleaning out window wells so instead of using the blower feature you can just suck the leaves out from there and here I'll show you the blower feature how well that works. So let's recap a little bit of how this works. First thing I want to mention, little twigs like this it will definitely chop this up but if you have like branches that fall off, then no, you're gonna wanna pull those out separate. Same with pine cones, it's not gonna chip those up. So if for some reason this gets jammed, I recommend, first of all, you unplug it. The one thing I did notice I will point out is if you pop this button right here, you push that up, that will actually shut off the power to it so you don't have to worry. Just to be safe, just go ahead and unplug it. So right there, you can see the metal impeller so if you have like a pine cone, what you end up doing is just open it up and pulling that out. Then once you get that all cleared out, it's just really easy to take this and put it back in place and you're good to go. Let me grab the box, we'll get some specs for you. Okay, as I mentioned, WG512, two speed control for corner sweeping and heavy yard debris. Delivers up to 600 CFM, which is cubic feet per minute of air volume for maximum cleaning with ease. Quick detachable bag for easy removal. And then it's an easy one touch, no tool, blower vac conversion. Patented articulating motor design for blow vac mulch operation. Metal blades brings a 16 to one mulching ratio, single handed operation. Air speed 70 miles per hour, 12 amp. The bag capacity, 1.4 bushels or 50 liters. The machine weight, nine pounds, 4.1 kilograms. And as far as the warranty, three year limited warranty. So my goal in this video is to help you guys out so you can see whether or not the TriVac is right for you. I'm hoping that I put it through all the tests. If there's something I left out, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer. And I will also have a link down below where you can check this out, the Works website, and also on Amazon too. I believe the rating was like around a 4.2 star review rating on average. So that's definitely uh, good reviews for this. So yeah. So what I like about this out of the box, I was able to get it completely assembled, which is very easy to do in about 10 minutes. So you can actually hit the ground running, either vacuuming leaves up, chopping them up, or blowing them out of the way within 10 minutes of opening the box, which is awesome. So I think this is something worth considering, especially with the leaf season really starting to get heavy all of a sudden here in Michigan. So if you find this video review interesting, informative, and helpful, please help support my channel by giving it a thumbs up. And that's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.